My goal was to do something that no one had ever done before on YouTube. And after weeks of searching, I realized it's all here. Seriously, absolutely everything. One day, I was peacefully sitting in a park, chewing mint gum. I pulled out a large orange and started peeling it. The fresh citrus scent mixed with the coolness of mint in my mouth. And in that moment, I had a genius idea. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'm going to turn the smell of an orange into the smell of mint using chemistry. And I can confidently say no one has done this before on YouTube. What is smell? And what do pine trees, lilacs, oranges and lavender have in common? At first glance, nothing at all. Different plants, different smells. But if you dig a little deeper, it all comes down to chemistry. More precisely, terpenes. Terpenes are a class of organic compounds produced by plants. They are the main components of essential oils and are responsible for the distinctive scent of many plants. For example, limonene smells like citrus, pinene has a piney aroma, a linalool smells like lilac, and the well-known menthol from mint. They smell different, but their molecules are very similar. These substances are built from the same building blocks, just arranged differently like the same Lego set, but built into different models. So if one molecule smells like orange and another like mint, and they are structurally similar, maybe we can take the first one and turn it into the second, just by tweaking the structure a bit. That is exactly what I'll be doing. Out of all terpenes, we care about two, limonene and carbon. There are two forms of limonene, D and L. One smells like orange, the other like pine. These are called enantiomers, Molecules with the same formula, but mirror images of each other. It's like your hands, left and right. They look similar, but when you place them on top of each other, they don't match. Carbon has the same story. L-carbon smells like mint, D-carbon like carvey. Can you believe that? It's the same molecule, just flipped in space. But our sense of smell easily picks up the difference. Today I'm going to attempt a very cool transformation. Taking d limonene from orange peels and turn it into L-carbon, which smells like mint. First step, supermarket. We need oranges, a lot of them, about 50. I hope this is enough, and I won't have to stand at the checkout again with a whole box of oranges. I drop them into the car and head home. In my hands, a grater, which means two hours of intense training are ahead. I need to grate all of them. The peel contains the most essential oil, up to 95% of which is d limonene it's a long, painful process. At one point, I grated the skin of my finger, but it's okay. The important thing is, I now have a full bowl of zest and a ton of oranges to eat. Next task, extracting limonene from zest. The easiest way is via distillation. I transfer the zest mash into a 1 liter flask. Unfortunately, that's the biggest I've got, so I split it into two parts. The flask walls quickly fog up, that's the essential oil evaporating. I add water and turn on the heat. Gradually, the mixture boils, and with the steam comes what we need. Cloudy drops appear on the condenser walls, a mixture of water and limonene. The receiving funnel starts filling with the clear liquid. But there is a catch. There are two layers. Which one is limonene? The top one. Due to its hydrophobic nature, it doesn't mix with water and forms a separate layer. This is a convenient method of essential oil extraction since limonene boils about 170 degrees Celsius. But in the presence of boiling water, it can evaporate at much lower temperatures. This is steam distillation. After two hours, the drops stop clouding up. Time to stop the process. Repeat with the second batch. Now, the goal is to separate the two layers and purify the product. I add a solvent, dichloromethane, which dissolves limonene well. It's heavier than water, so the limonene with it sinks to the bottom. Shake drain, add bicarbonate of soda, shake again, drain onto the sodium sulfate, and now our solution is cleaner and dry. Transfer everything to the flask. I grab the wrong one, so I pour from flask to flask. Assemble the apparatus, turn on the heat, and evaporate all the dichloromethane. What's left in the flask is limonene. I pour it into a jar. We've got about 33.5 grams of citrus essence. I could have just bought 2 liters of cheap limonene. Okay, now the real chemistry begins. We need to turn this molecule into this one. I found two good methods. 
an American and a Pakistani one. I think the second is simpler and gives a better yield. For this reaction we need a reactor, sodium nitrate, pure ethanol, distilled water, concentrated hydrochloric acid and our limonene. I pour limonene into a flask, add water and ethanol. Start stirring and add sodium nitrate. This reaction needs a temperature at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, so I cool it with an ice salt bath. Now for the smoke show. I pour ethanol into a funnel and add concentrated hydrochloric acid, then slowly drip this mixture into the flask. For those curious about the detailed chemistry and mechanism, I've got a separate file link in the description. I left the reaction for 6 hours. When I came back, the flask looked like cherry juice. Some powder was frozen at the bottom, which is good. It's a mix of our product and some inorganic salts. Now to filter it through a vacuum filter. As you see, it's not a white crystalline powder, like in a method. So we need to wash it a bit. I add water to dissolve the salts and transfer the yellow mash into a beaker. I add cold ethanol and mix well. Most impurities dissolve. Then back on the filter. Drain the ethanol, one more rinse and we get almost white powder. Much better, right? I spread it on a petri dish, dry it a bit and wait. I got 18.5 grams of nitrosyl chloride, yield 39%. Disappointing. According to the method, I should have gotten around 44 grams, about 19%. Either I messed something up or half the product is still in the juice. Now I've got nitrosyl chloride. My next go, turn it into this carboxyme. This reaction is much simpler. I pour the synthesized powder into a flask and add urea. This kicks off hydrogen chloride elimination, turning nitrosyl chloride into an oxime. More detailed chemistry is in the file below the video. I pour in absolute ethanol. The solution turns bright green almost instantly. The goal is to boil the reaction for one hour. Look how beautiful this is. After 20 minutes, it turned yellow, then orange, and finally, juice again. Pour it all onto ice. And we are done. It looks like cappuccino or rather ice latte. A solid starts sticking to the walls. That's a good sign. At this point, a pleasant minty smell appears. I let the mixture chill and filter it. Wash with water to remove inorganics and heat some ethanol. Now let's recrystallize. Dissolve the orange mass in the minimum amount of hot ethanol. Evaporate a bit, cover and put it into the freezer. The next day I got this. Should have used a bit more ethanol but it's fine. Filter and gently rinse with alcohol. Got 4.8 grams of carboxyme. And now the final stage. It's simple. We need to turn carboxyme into the final minty aroma. l carbon. I pour the powder into a flask and add oxalic acid and water. Put a condenser on the top and start heating. It needs to boil for an hour. After 10 minutes, everything dissolved and something oily started floating. I was so happy to see those droplets and smell mint in the lab. I set up the distillation apparatus and begin collecting the synthesized oil. Quickly extract with dichloromethane, wash with bicarbonate and brine, and remove the solvent. What's left in the flask? Pur L carbon. I could already tell the yield would be small, just a few grams visually. But let's check. The result? 2.25 grams. 2.24 grams from 50 oranges. Do you need this substance? No. And the main question of this video is how much this L carbon costs? Six dollars. Six dollars for 10 grams. I could just buy it. But YouTube wouldn't have witnessed this groundbreaking transformation of orange sand into mint. Guys, this jar contains essential oil that I synthesized from oranges. So it doesn't smell like oranges. And your task is very simple. Just tell me what it smells like. Okay. Let's check. Let's so who is first? Me. Okay, let's go. Um, blah, blah, blah. Chewing gums. Mint. It's not, like, it's not like mantle. Yeah, but it's mint. It's mint. Definitely it's mint. Yeah. Yeah, actually mint. Mint. Like mint. 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 Thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate if you subscribe and stuck around. Links to support the channel are in the description. Have a lovely day. See you very soon.